everyone, I'm Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I feel like I wasn't here very long ago. <laughs> it's only been about three days, I think, since I last uploaded, maybe even two. But you know, just giving you more. <laughs> giving the people what they want. No, I'm joking. Yeah, we're going to New York next week, so probably won't be able to do some videos for a few days. So I thought I would jump in with a few extras before we go. So I'm here today to talk you through my March makes and favourites, but when I've written everything down, I actually made quite a lot of stuff in March. So I'm going to split it into two videos. Two for the price of one. Two? <laughs> one? <laughs> I usually do one makes and favourites video per month, but I'm going to do two. So you'll get the other part in a couple of days time. So what I'm wearing is the Paper Cut Patterns Fjord Cardi, I believe is what it's called. Now, you won't be able to see an awful lot from the camera, but you can see that it looks like I've used three different materials to make this cardigan. But in fact, it is one fabric, <laughs> which is a sort of blush pink ponty. And then this quilted jersey is like this on one side and then this is the reverse. So I just incorporated both into this cardigan and the pattern lends itself to using different elements because it's made up of lots of different parts. <laughs> so yeah, I love this cardi. Very snuggly, cosy, warm, which we need today because it's been hailstoning. Hailstoning in April, how dare it. But anyway, let's get on with the video. Ooh, I'll tell you about my tea because it is an interesting one today. So this is the Sainsbury's Taste the Difference. Ooh, focus, focus, focus. Mm. Is it focusing? <laughs> there we go. Now I can't read what it says. Blackberry, apple, beetroot and ginger infusion. So yeah, delish like it a lot. It's just nice and warming. Right, so some of the things that I made then, like I said, I'm going to split this video into two. So let's just talk through some of them. Obviously there was my dressmaker's ball outfit, which if you watched my last video or the video before when I talked about that, it was the closet case patterns netty bodysuit with Lurex jersey from Like So Amazing. And the skirt was the Deer and Doe Fumiter skirt made with magpie print fabric from Lindy Bop. Now I'm not going to go into any more detail than that about those two makes. I'll link the video below where I talk all about them and talk in more detail about the actual makes themselves and the patterns and how I found them. So yeah, go and look at that video if you haven't done so already. But yeah, loved my dressmaker's ball outfit. <laughs> right, the next thing that I'll talk about is, again, another couple of makes that I've already shared with you in my video where I talked about making metallic garments. So I've got the Nina Lee Southbank sweater, which I made in Atelier Brunette sweatshirt fabric from Guthrie and Garney. And yeah, you'll see pictures of that. And I've talked to you about that before. So again, I'm not gonna go into loads of detail, but another super snuggly make. And yeah, continue my love of the Southbank sweater. And then also there's the blog post that I did for Pin and Sew in which I made uh, Tilling the Buttons Freya dress, but I hacked it so that it had a gathered skirt rather than just it being a dress. So it was Freya on the top and then a gathered skirt as the bottom. So yeah, again, I've talked about that before and I'll link the blog post below where I go into lots of detail about how I made the garment and the fabric that I used and yeah love that one as well so the last make that i'm going to talk to you about in this part of the video is the top i was wearing in my last video which actually i can't really talk about because it's a secret <laughs> so it was the yellow leopard print top made using fabric from fabric magpie and again that one's for a guest blog post so i can't tell you what pattern i used but it's a lovely oversized cozy t-shirt pattern is what I shall tell you. So if you watch my last video which was my 
fabric haul and April sewing plans, that is the top that I was wearing in that video. So yeah, more to come on that very soon. Right, so that's a few of my makes. As I say, I did make quite a lot in March, so I've still got another five things I think to talk to you about in part two of this video, but I thought I would divide it up into two shorter videos and now I'll talk to you about some of my favourite things. So, first thing I'll tell you about is some fabric that I had delivered. Now, every month I have fabric delivered. I can't help myself. A, I think it's an investment. It really is an investment because, you know, fabric's beautiful and special and can be turned into beautiful, amazing things. So it's definitely an investment. It's not going to waste. And I just see things that I love and I just, I try and resist and I just can't. <laughs> but this is something that I actually pre-ordered and it's from Selkie Patterns. And again, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but I have spoken about them in a previous video. They design and paint their own fabric designs. So it's their own artwork. And then they have it made into fabric, which is very ethically sourced and you know, they're very big on sustainability and sort of that aspect of the environmental stuff. <laughs> Caring about the environment and, you know, looking after our planet and that sort of thing. So they actually released this fabric as a pre-order so that anybody that was interested could order in advance, pay for it in advance, so they weren't going to have more fabric made than they needed, which you know, goes along with that environmental stuff. I'm making it sound really rubbish, I don't mean to. Um, I think it's amazing. So yeah, so they're not gonna be left over with loads of fabric that they're not sure what to do with. So yeah, they released a print called, uh, something to do with matches, <laughs> a match print fabric, and they released it in two different colors. Now, one color was like a teal color, and then the other was a lovely pink and I went for that one and as you can see it's just a really lovely I think it's a cotton sateen really great structure and it's got this beautiful match print on it and if you look very closely let's see if I can find one here and there it has a little hidden match print heart so they're sort of dotted around the design. How cute. So yeah, no plans with what to do with that fabric just yet, but it's just so super cute. I love it. You won't find anything like it in the shops, which I think is an absolute bonus. <laughs> so yeah, that was probably my favorite fabric delivery of the month. Oh, something else I had delivered this month, which is gorgeous, is some jewelry. And it came in this beautiful, box and if you can see that it says so dainty on the front so if you recognize the name you might know what this is already so so dainty is the sort of business name the instagram name of a lovely sewist called kathy and she has released a range of acrylic jewelry which is sewing and knitting themed and she released them in four different designs and i went for this beautiful reel of thread oh, with a sparkly needle on. There you go. How gorgeous is that? The needle is so sparkly and glittery and I just think it's so, so pretty. So I've actually not worn it yet. I've been keeping it in this lovely packaging so I could show you in this video, but I will link to Kathy's site down below and go and have a look at the other designs. They're all absolutely stunning. But I really, this was sort of my favorite one. So yeah, there we go, love it. Go and buy your own. She does a gorgeous pair of scissors. Um, I think there is a, possibly a ball of yarn like that and I can't remember what the other one is after oh a button a really cute button so yeah I would highly recommend going and buying yourself one of those all right the next thing I'll mention is a YouTube channel that I've been loving so I actually went through my subscription list and I thought who am I going to talk about today because I love you I love watching lots of people <laughs> but the one that I'm going to talk to you about is 
a group of ladies called Pattern Pals, and that is three ladies. One's called Louise, one's called Lisa, and the other one is Barbara. And they are a group of friends who film, I think it's about monthly videos, where they plan and make, and they all plan the same garment. That's all about Pattern Pals. <laughs> Each month they all make the same garment, but in different fabrics possibly different versions. They've all got different sort of body shapes, different styles. So you get to see the same garment, but in di completely different ways. And then they film a video once they've made the items and they talk about any problems they had or what changes they made or which version of the pattern they made. And I just really, really like watching them. You know, that's the sort of thing that I would love to do, but I don't know enough people locally that we could do that with. <laughs> So the most recent video that they did was about the Pippi Pinafore from Jennifer Lauren and yeah, all three versions were absolutely gorgeous. So if you haven't already checked out Pattern Pals, go and give them a watch. I love the concept, love their videos. They're so lovely, they're such good friends and that really comes across. Their different personalities come across and I just really enjoy watching them. It's a good day when their new video gets uploaded. <laughs> so speaking of that, Myself and Keely and Samantha, who I'm running the Sewing Patterns and Prints Challenge with, we're actually thinking of doing something inspired by Pattern Pals. You know, not the same, we're not going to do a YouTube video together because, you know, Keely lives in Bristol and although myself and Samantha live quite close together, we don't see each other that often because, we're, you know, both busy. But we are planning on doing something slightly inspired by Pattern Pals. And we are going to be, every month, sewing the same pattern and then just revealing it on Instagram or we might reveal it on YouTube as myself and Keely have channels. And yeah, we're going to call it Sewing Patterns Together. And yeah, that's just something, it's just for fun. It's not a challenge. It's not, you know, anything pressurized, but we just think it'll be quite cool for us to chat about together but then we will share the results of what we've done. So we have actually decided what the first pattern is that we're going to make and we are going to make it in the month of April so keep an eye out and I will talk to you about what my plans are and I'll show you what I make. The last two things to talk to you about then before I go, one of them completely random and it's my new pen. I bought this pen from Paper Chase a couple of days ago and I couldn't resist it. It's a sushi pen. Look, so it's got salmon nigiri on the top but it's got a little smiley face. How cute is that? And it's got feathers on it and it it's a really good writer and if you know what I mean by a good writer then Pen Appreciation Society. <laughs> but yeah, I just love that. I couldn't resist it. The cat's also like it. They like playing with it but yeah had to throw that one in there. My little random favourite. If you're in the UK and you can order from Paper Chase I would highly recommend this pen. It wasn't very expensive. Less than four pounds and just such fun. Oh what I also got from Paper Chase is this gorgeous notebook which says happy thoughts and I just love the cloud design on there and obviously lilac. Yeah so I love that as well. I'm a bit of a stationary fiend. <laughs> I love new stationery, so Paper Chase is like my heaven. Right, and the very last thing that I'll talk to you about in this video is, well, it would usually be my favorite book of the month, but I'm actually going to talk to you about some books that I haven't read. And that's because this month I took part in a book swap. And on Instagram, there is a hashtag, which is the Busy Mama Book Swap. So the Busy Mama Book Swap is run by a lady called Emily and her account on Instagram is Busy Mama Book Club. And she runs this monthly book swap where she will announce a theme. You then comment to say if you'd like to take part and then Emily pairs you up with somebody that's in the same country as you. She then starts an Instagram private message group with herself yourself and your partner that she's linked you up with. She introduces the rules of the book swap, explains what you need to do next, and then she leaves the group and leaves you to chat with your book swap partner. So I've watched this 
happen on Instagram for a couple of months and it just the things that people send each other just look so wonderful and I've talked about this before but I love receiving things in the post it's just so special I love that feeling of opening something whether it's a letter or a postcard or a parcel just I love it so I had as I say watched this happen for a couple of months and then I thought you know I'm going to take part this month so the theme was floral fancy and I signed up and I got partnered with a lovely lady called Kim and we chatted about the sorts of things that we like, don't like, we shared sort of book wish lists with each other and decided on a budget. So the budget was either 10 or 20 pounds or anywhere in between. And then off we went and organised a couple of books from each other's wish list plus extra things that fitted in with the theme and parceled it all up and sent it. So it was just lovely to open. You then receive your parcel and then there's a reveal date where everybody opens their parcels and shares it on Instagram on the same date. And it was just really, really lovely to be involved in. So like I said, this month's theme was floral fancy and I'll put a couple of pictures in of my beautiful box of goodies that arrived from Kim, but I thought I would show you the books that I received and you can let me know if you've read either of them. So two of the books that were actually on my wish list that have been on my radar and I really was interested in reading were The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan and also another Ruth Hogan book which was The Wisdom of Sally Redshoes. So I also sent a few other books on my wish list to Kim but these are the two that she chose and I imagine possibly because they fitted in nicely with the floral theme <laughs> the other books on my wish list were sort of crime thrillers, psychological thrillers, maybe not so floral. So yeah, those two books arrived for me, beautifully wrapped, along with some lovely little parcels that had tags on. So this one says drink me and it has some lovely flowering tea bags in. She also, she's a chef, so she baked me some absolutely delicious biscuits and she also was so thoughtful and included some beautiful fabric for me which had my favourite flowers on. Sorry just getting the fabric. Um, so yeah she sent me some fabric with my favourite flowers on which was super thoughtful and that had a little tag attached to it saying so me and I think there was a couple of other things. Oh, beautiful bookmark. And yeah, it was just a really, really lovely treat. So I'll leave the links to everything down below to the Busy Mama Book Club. And I'll leave the hashtag Busy Mama Book Swap. If you're interested in books, if you love reading, if that's the sort of thing that you would like to get involved with, then, you know, head over to Instagram and check it out. And maybe you will be opening a box of delightful book and other goodies, book and book another goodness book I don't know how to explain it <laughs> but a box of treats with some lovely books and you may make some new friends because of it as well so yeah that was a favorite let me know if you've read either of those books and I'll tell you all about them once I have read them I think I'm going to take them to New York with me and read them on the plane Right, so that's it for part one of my March Makes and Favourites video. Keep an eye out for part two later in the week. And in the meantime, I look forward to hearing from you in the comments section. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like this video if you liked it. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye. What was my last video?